Last week, thousands of apps went down. Pinterest, Netflix, Facebook, Amazon, Zoom, and even Apple TV. And all these apps and websites went down because of Amazon Web Service outage. And the funny part is that a mattress company called Eat Sleep also went completely offline. And users of this mattress were not able to sleep on their bed. Yeah, you pay thousands of dollars for your mattress and you can't sleep just because of Amazon service outage. Welcome to the first episode of Tech News of the Week. This is going to be a weekly series where I talk about tech events that happened in the previous week and it will be dropping each and every Monday. If you don't want to miss out, make sure you follow me and like this video. Talking about hardware, Samsung just released their latest Galaxy XR headset and this is one of their VR headsets in decades and it's supposed to be a huge competitor to that of the Apple Vision Pro. But the speculation and reviews that are going on, it is way lighter than that of the Vision Pro. This is one of the major concerns that a lot of Vision Pro users have been having, that it weighs too much on their head. And the cool part of this is that it's also having Google Gemini embedded right into it. So you don't need to, to be tapping your fingers all the time just to communicate within your virtual reality. All you need to do is to talk to your Gemini and you are good to go. And Google is not stopping there. Google just released their latest Vibe Coder right in Google AI Studio. Letting anyone, even complete beginners, to develop their website, create a website, create an app and deploy them all for free. And OpenAI has been doing a lot of things recently. They just released their latest browser called the ChatGPT Atlas. So this is not an AI assistant. This is a full browser that is uh, supposed to be a huge competitor to that of the Google Chrome. And <laughs> yeah, that is a debate that is going on. But the funny thing is that it is also a Chromium based browser. And, and you know, the only non-Chromium based browser I know that has been working for decades now is Firefox. So yeah, even though it's a huge competitor, it is still using Chromium. <laughs> anyway, let's see how that goes. Meanwhile, Cloud Desktop is now available on Mac OS and that of Windows OS 2 as well. If you're a huge fan of Cloud, then I think you should also try that out. And last but not the least, as Spotify users. Yes, finally, the premium users are now having lots less audio. You know, for the past decades or years now, Apple Music users have been have been trashing Spotify users because of lossless audio. Now we have it. What can you guys brag about now? Because everything you guys have, we now have it. What can you brag about now? Put it in your comment section. Which of this has been your favorite so far? Drop a comment news so that I tag you in my next video. See you in the next episode.